By the way, you can also show the edges or it's still like this. By the way, wait. Okay, so we should create horizon from hit. So to make horizon, we will go to corner point greeting in processes, corner point greeting, make horizons. Okay. And here I will have two horizons. I select the top surface. I click this multiple drop down or multiple drop. Now I click this one. So now the top surface will be the top horizon. Base surface will be base horizon. Click apply. Okay, and click OK. So if you go to the model, you will have horizon. If you yeah, untick the top surface and base surface, you will still maintain the horizon. Okay. And then if you click edges, you will have the edge as the edge of our two horizons. Okay, so now you can see the 3D shape of our model. Okay. All right, but we are still far from the end. Okay, if you want to show the axis like this. Okay. Zoom out a little bit. Okay, and then we need to make layering. All right, layering. So inside the model, you see we have skeleton, like this, the skeleton. We have faults if we create any, and then horizons, edges, intersection, properties, fault filter, zone filter, segment filter if we go to processes you see still in the corner point greeting for the corner side you can have layering okay now we are we have only one layer proportional i will just make it 10 layers proportional zone division proportional means all the layers will have the same thickness. I will make it 12 layers. Click apply. Okay. So now as you can see, I have 12 layers. All right. By the way, until this point, we have created two anticlines, the structure, the body, and also we have the 12 layers. Okay, so the next step from it is actually if we go to processes, corner point greeting, we close. And then now we go to property modeling, geometrical modeling, all right? Geometrical modeling. And then we go to the this one, the method, select cell height, okay, cell height, click apply and okay. And so if you go to the model, you will have within the properties, you can have cell height here. Okay, so if you untick the horizons, you can see the cell height. Okay. By the way, if you open the cell height, it will be like this. Okay. All right. And then let me check. Yeah. If you right click here, you can select spin animation, automatic interactive mode, rotation axis, stereo. You can also do decorations like this. Uncheck and also draw style. 
you can as is hidden line no texture low resolution and other things okay but actually we can stop for a while from here and in the next section we will populate the model with some properties like for example porosity and it will be very 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 interesting okay so see you again i think we can call it a day we have constructed a 3d model with antique line shape okay we have the two horizons the top horizon and base horizon with shape of antique line and we also have 12 layers and in the next section we will populate the model with properties okay so see you again and thank you